defense that set a record. John Gruden trying to come up with that game plan to just chip away at that Ravens defense. Scoreless first quarter late. Rich Gannon picked up by Robert Beetle Bailey. Hit the first big break of the game. And that leads to Pro Bowl kicker Matt Smokey Stover. So this is automatic. Except, doink! Raiders dodge a bullet. 36 yard field goal, no good. Look at the crowd, Alcatraz open again. Second quarter, Trent Dilfer, sacked by William Thomas. So this is gonna be the first time in the game, Tom, early second quarter, that Oakland's gonna get field position after this punt, because certainly, oh no! Marquez Paul plays the man into our defense. It's Dilfer to Shannon Sharp. He could go all the way. 96 yards. It turned a Raider advantage into a Raider disaster. Yeah, and you take a look at the big picture here. Marquez Pope gonna miss the initial tackle. Anthony Dorsett, who was arrowed, gonna come over, take the wrong approach angle, and Shannon Sharp is off to the races. Suing drive Raiders. Tony Siragusa charges in and knocks Rich Gannon down, twisting, turning. Collarbone injury, we'll probably find out it may have been broken. Yeah, Tony Saragusa, about 340 pounds, and you see him bring all his weight down on Rich Gannon, and certainly that was trouble for the rest of the game for the Raiders. Bobby Hoy hasn't played a meaningful snap since September. Tyrone Wheatley gets the ball stuffed by Ray Lewis. Hoy, oh my goodness, he's gonna throw it from his own eight. It's picked off by Dwayne Starks, who struts down to the 21-yard line. Gannon. Now look at this, he's on his way to the locker room, and he looks up, uh, uh, oh, uh. but Gannon comes out, whatever they did, second half, could he be like Brian Greasy was against these Raiders on that Monday night? Meanwhile, here comes the defense, Johnny Harris picks off Trent Dilfer, Raiders get some life down 10 to nothing, leads to first and goal. But Tyrone Wheatley ran it 12 times for seven yards, Tom. Yeah, this defense stuffs you at the line of scrimmage, and you realize when you get down in short yardage situations where things get very tight, it gets very difficult. And then this is Gannon being dragged out by Jamie Sharper. So third and goal began at the two. Now they're at the seven. And a little behind, but Randy Joe, oh, he had a touchdown, baby. But the Raiders have to settle for a field goal, and who would have known that that was about it? 10-3 with a score 13-3 after a Stover field goal. Jamal Lewis hits a fumble. The Raiders have a Pope, and the Ravens have a Priest. This one, it was Marquez Pope that recovered. So it leads to Gannon. It really does. It would have freeze this play for a moment, maybe a few moments, and he's going to go back to pass, and he's going to be... See, it's amazing the protection he got on that play. <laughs> he's going to be picked off by Dwayne Starks. His second pick of the day, you could tell Gannon was not right. That was obvious. Return to the 49-yard line. And then if you really didn't know he wasn't right, early four. Hit. Fumble. Ray Lewis is there, and the Ravens are in business again. Yeah, and Ray Lewis is always around the football. Unfortunate set of events here. Lincoln Kennedy's foot kicks the ball out of Gannon's hand, and again, Ray Lewis always around the football. Later in the fourth, with the Ravens owning this game, 16-3. One of the few big gainers is hoying to Terry Kirby. But it's a fumble! And guess who? It's Dwayne Starks edging ahead in that dot-com poll again. And he recovers, but the Raiders are going to challenge. And the play is overruled. So they keep the ball, pointing to Bad Moon Rising, but Bad Move Rising. Penalty nullifying the touchdown. Yeah, and you're out in space, and you've got the side judge looking for this. And right there, you see the push off. It's an obvious call for the official. And then, Pretty easy call. And then look at the Ravens defense. Are they unbelievable? J.B. Sharper is right there at the one to end the threat, to end the game. The Ravens D, along with a little bit from Trent Dilfer and some outstanding coaching for Brian Billick, Art Modell, been an owner since 1960. The Ravens are moving to the championship game in unbelievable style, holding the Raiders to just three points.